everyone and welcome back to day four of the digital planning boot camp today is the last day and I'm so glad you guys were able to join me for this boot camp and learn the basics of digital planning so you can kind of get started and be experimenting with um, how you want to do it so um, in today's lesson we are going to be talking about just kind of some tips and tricks for digital planning there's not um, a specific item we're going to be going over. We've covered most of everything that you would want to know. Um, so today's video is going to be just mostly uh, me covering a few extra little tidbits of information that I think would be helpful. And um, yeah, and then you also get today's freebie, which is a little widget kit. We're going to talk a little bit about widgets, what widgets are in a minute. So if you haven't had a chance to download that, you can go do it real quick. It You can download it just like you would download stickers. So I'm not going to go walk you through the steps again, um, but I will show it to you and kind of how it works inside the planner. So, all right. So again, I'm going to start with the good notes version of this, and then I will go over kind of some similar tips and tricks for using the Samsung um, S7 and the Android app for that as well. Um, the tips won't be exactly the same because they don't have the same features, but um, kind of along the same lines. So for good notes, the things I wanted to show you are, um, let's see, we're going to go over to just one of the monthly spread pages. Um, I wanted to show you the elements tool um, because we haven't covered it yet and it's right here it's this little like star this is kind of a way for you to save stickers inside of good notes they call it elements um you can add any kind of sticker into this um i personally only add the stickers that i use very often which are mostly just my inky bears um, because i use those i use one or two of those on probably every spread um, I don't add like full sticker kits into this, but you can if that is something you want to do. I don't know if this has necessarily limitations of how many stickers you can add to it, but I prefer to pull in um, my sticker kits in the actual sticker kit format because this is easier for me to see anyways. So um, that's how I use it. The way it works is you just click anywhere on the screen. It pulls up all the stickers right here. You can make it bigger um, and go into split screen mode if you need to and see them like this. You have these different boxes right here or these different sections and these are some of the ones that came with Good Notes. Um, Good Notes even releases little freebie sticker kits from time to time that you can um, also download um, and import into your um, elements if you want. Um, so to add them, you click right here, you find the one you want to add. I'm going to add this little work bear. You can um, size it just like any other sticker. So from there, it works just like every other sticker. So it's really just a way for you to favorite things you use quite often. So to add a sticker to it, there's a couple different ways you can go about doing it. One of them is to just click. And then if I click on the folder, up at the top, which this is the folder that it's in, I can edit the collection and I can add photos from my photo roll, or I can do import from, and then I can actually scroll around and find and find different images that are on my device. So if I download like a sticker kit from the internet, I can find it in my downloads and then import it from there. I don't actually have any to import, so I'm not going to walk through the steps, but it's pretty easy to do. Um, you can also delete the collection if you want right here or rename it here. Um, to add a new collection, you'll just scroll over to the very side here and you'll click this plus button and then you can create a new um, title and add elements in the exact same way. This I find is the best way to add elements. You can um, bring like an image in from your this way or like even on your sticker kit. So let's say I decided I wanted to create an element out of this. I can use my lasso tool and select it and then add element. I accidentally selected two different things. I'm gonna create a new collection and this will create one sticker with two things. So you can create layered elements as well. So if you have like a, a layered type thing that you use quite often, um, you can create them here. And then I'm gonna click create. What I find when I do it this way is that this doesn't always allow me to resize it 
um, very well. Like sometimes they get blurry. So I import it the other way, but you can do it this way. Um, just know that some of the images, like especially my inky bears, I've noticed get really blurry when I do it that way. So I actually prefer to just go in and import the file organically the first way. So that is the elements tool inside GoodNotes. It's a relatively new tool, so it's kind of fun to play around with. So the next thing I want to show you is the handwriting to text feature inside GoodNotes. GoodNotes has a very advanced text recognition software. Um, and so what you can do is you can handwrite something like, let's go in and handwrite just the word hello, since that's always my default. You can select it and then you can actually click convert and it will convert it to text and you can see what it's finding based on what you wrote here. And then if you click the share button here, you can copy that and then just tap and hold and paste and it will actually create a text box with your default, um, oops, with the default settings you have set up inside GoodNotes here. So what's nice about this is you could handwrite your entire um, spread and then if say you don't you like you don't like your handwriting very much you can quickly go through and convert everything in there into a text box without actually having to type anything out so the last thing I want to show you inside good notes as far as tips and tricks is how to use widgets and kind of talk about what widgets are because they're becoming increasingly popular in the digital planning world so you're more like you're more likely to start hearing this word used quite often um, we included a little widget kit freebie like I said earlier um, it looks like this that includes um, a couple widgets for you to experiment with you actually have quite a few so this is from just our basics kit it's just the matching color for this the little mini planner um, but what widgets are is they're just little sections that are kind of like mini templates. They add functionality to your planner. They function like, or they work like stickers. You import them just like stickers, but we have widget sections in a lot of our templates where you can add these elements in really easily and they are sized proportionately for those sections, um, allowing you to kind of create custom spreads. So you're customizing even more, which is what we love to see. So if you go and look at your daily pages, you'll see that I have a couple sections here. This area here, what looks like a little notepad, is actually sized proportionately for our widgets. So um, if you wanted to use this for something other than like a notepad, you can go in and select widgets and it's sized for these ones down here. But you'll find as you go through our different templates and different planners and pages, some of these other sizes kind of sprinkled in as well as these ones over here are essentially can also be fit inside these little areas as well so you can kind of make a um have a couple different options inside one area if you want so let's say on this day i'm um, here i am going to go shopping so i want to add a shopping list to that page um so i can keep track of what it is well i have a shopping list right here so I can just copy this over just like I would any other sticker and just, so just size it so it kind of matches, looks right. And there you go, you have, it looks like it fits right in with the spread and matches everything and you can continue on with your day and you can customize every single day for something that you need. And there's a bunch of different options already in our shop and we will be adding quite a lot more in the beginning of 2022, it's on the top of my priority list um, to get some new interesting widgets out there like pet care widgets, um, travel widgets, stuff like that to make it so that you can really dig into customizing these spreads even more. Um, one thing, I, another tip I want to show you real quick because it might come up as far as widgets go is let's say I want to bring some of these little smaller boxes over. So I'm going to bring over um, the brain dump one, well, actually yeah, I'll do this real quick and this one, just kind of like a little habit tracker type thing. Um, okay. So they're sized kind of the same, but if I were to bring them over here and put them on, I'd have this pink stuff in the background 
And let's say I just don't want that because a lot of our widget spaces are colored already. If you don't want that, um, that showing up in the background, the way you can get rid of it, you can use the um, pen tool like an eraser by selecting the color white and then drawing over it like that. But a simpler and faster way, especially if it's a large area, is to use your lasso tool. Find any white space on the screen, draw a little circle to take a screenshot. Now you're going to click this little share button here, click copy, and then you're going to paste it down. And now you have just essentially a white box, which in good notes, you can resize to whatever you need it to be. And you get rid of that section and you can use that to get rid of any section in your planner. Really, you will need to cut and copy these or cut and paste these back down so that they show up on top of the white box. And now you don't have that little pink background if that's bothering you. Um, and it's a quick way to get rid of anything on your template page that you don't care for. So um, those are my tips for using GoodNotes. Now I'm going to switch over to the Note Shelf app on my Samsung and show you another couple of tips there um, for if you're using that combination. Okay, so I have moved over to my Samsung tablet. I've got my planner pulled up in Note Shelf. And so I wanted to talk to you a little bit about some of the tips I have for you if you're working in the Note Shelf for Android app. Um, the first one we're going to go over is um, pinning your favorite things to the tab. So this isn't something you can do in GoodNotes. It's specific to Note Shelf. And what you can actually do is if you have some favorites saved, like I have this pen here saved in my favorites. You can see this is how you get to your favorites. You can actually turn on your favorites toolbar. And when you go out of this, you'll have this little toolbar here that pops up that allows you to quickly select between things that are your favorite. So let's add another favorite item in here. And now I can switch easily back and forth between like different colored pens and things like that. So you can save them here and then toggle on and off those tools or those, um, the highlighter. Um, so you, even if you're working with like different thicknesses or anything like that, any kind of thing that you want to save in your favorites for these two tools, you can put here and then you can turn it off really easily by pushing that button. Um, so that is a really quick way, especially if you have like a couple different highlighters. Usually when I'm planning, I highlight out certain things and like they're color coded and I use highlighters to do that. So having all of the different colors of highlighters pulled up at the top of my screen makes doing that really, really quick and easy because I don't have to go into this and actually find the color every single time. The next thing I want to show you is the handwriting to text tool. It's similar to how we, or what we talked about in Good notes, but it works a little bit differently with um, note shelf. So you have a couple different ways you can do handwriting to text. You can create a text box here, and then you can ha uh, click on this little icon right here, and you can write out whatever you want to say there. Um, another option is to write what you want to say. Oops, accidentally locked my screen, and I have. And then if I select it, I can um, click on to text and it will also um, create kind of the same thing that was in GoodNotes with this little box that shows you what it's doing and you can change the language if you need to. Um, you can copy it to clipboard kind of like you did with GoodNotes. But one of the nice, thing, nice things Note Shelf does is allow you to actually um, convert it to a text box right there. So you can see that that converted right there and now I can edit it. There we go. Okay. Um, so that is the um, convert to text options inside note shelf. Um, so then lastly, I want to show you the widgets just like I did with the GoodNotes version. Um, you do get the ping versions or the image versions of the widgets as well. So you can use them on Android. 
So you're just going to import your widgets the exact same way that you imported your sticker kits. Um, and so I'm not going to go over that again. Um, but then to add them in, you're just going to go up to the little plus button, click on photo library, and then locate them. Um, I have them named so you can kind of see like L is for large, medium, small. So you can kind of find the size you're looking for in the widget that you want. So I'm looking for a shopping list, which is what I'm going to add to this one. Um, and then I can just drag it over, resize it a little bit, drag it over and paste it down. Just like um, any other sticker. I'm just going to make it look a little bit nicer. And then see if I want to get rid of the rest of this box. Um, Note Shelf has an option for that as well. You can draw a circle anywhere in like a white space on side, inside the screen. Click screenshot, then click this little share button. I wish they would have just like a copy option here, but they don't. So um, what I do is I just save it to files and you can just save it inside here if you want, or if you want like a template place, you can save it, that's fine. Um, and then I can go back in and select it. And now I have a box. Keep in mind, um, you can't stretch these. So you do have to try to get it somewhat close to the correct proportions of what you're trying to cover up. You can crop it though. So if I did this, sorry, if I did this and it is um, completely off from the size I want, um, I can grab my eraser, I'll tap and hold and edit it. And then I can make it a little bit less rectangular and get a little bit of a better fit on that. And then you can also then select it, send to back, and now when I bring this one over, it will sit nicely on top. So, and I can keep adding more underneath. So that is how you can work with the widget sections inside of Note Shelf. Um, uh, one thing I wanted to talk to or mention with Note Shelf is that um, my experience with Note Shelf on Android is that it's fairly glitchy. Um, so one workaround for that that I found is if you end up like a tool's not working or it seems like it's just not working the way that you want. The first thing I do is just switch pages and go back. A lot of the times that will refresh whatever problem it's having, but another option is just to close out of the app entirely and go back in and then it will pretty much every single time that it'll start working. I don't know why the Note Shelf Android version is so glitchy. I didn't notice it um, until the most recent update. So hopefully they will get it kind of figured out and fixed. Good notes can sometimes be glitchy as well. Every time they add a new feature, it seems like there's a little bit of glitching that goes on. So if you ever end up in that situation and you're digitally planning, um, my best advice to you is to just close whatever app you're using and reopen it. And a lot of times that will fix whatever the problem is. And if it still doesn't fix the problem, you can always reach out to the developer um, or, you know, reach out to our Facebook group page because a lot of people there use the same apps and have, are already familiar with whatever it is that you're experiencing. So, so that is it. That is our digital planning boot camp. I hope you guys found it useful and I hope that it helps you in getting started and you enjoy the freebies that are included. Um, take some time to experiment around and see what you like. And that will give you the best information as far as what you want out of your planner. So then when you go out and you decide you want to purchase a full planner, then you kind of have an idea of what you need and what you want and what you enjoy using. And hopefully it will also help you narrow down what kind of app you want to use. Um, I am going to have a video here very soon that is comparing the tablet, the Samsung S7 to the iPad Pro, as well as another video that will be specifically comparing Note Shelf and GoodNotes. So you can kind of get an idea of what the biggest difference between the two. I would argue that those are probably the two biggest apps on the market for digital planning. Um, and then I'm also going to do an in-depth review or tutorial for both apps as well. So keep an eye out for those videos and subscribe to our channel if you want to be notified when those come out. And I will see you guys in the next video. Good luck.